It's Serena from the Falco family where homeschool is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal. I get lots of questions about how I select things to come into our home. I try to always bring in things to our home and our homeschool that can be used in many different ways. So even for celebrations, I shop the house and then I add a few extra things to the mix that I can also use in homeschool. So I figured I would share. I just ordered a box of goodies for his party um, to help us celebrate and it came to about 70 or 80 dollars total and then I headed on a hunt around the house to just grab things that I thought would make every the day a little bit more fun so I'm just gonna share some of the stuff I got and the activities that I have planned to keep it simple but still very fun around here you guys already know that Amazon is bay around here so this is my little box of birthday fun I pretty much use the same formula each time I'm doing a little something it's a birthday, so what's a birthday without a big number balloon? He is going to be eight years old. And to go along with my balloon, I like to have like another big balloon that kind of goes along with our theme. So our theme this time around is Dragon City. And the reason is because it's really hard for me to find stuff that my bear likes. And, well, my son. <laughs> it's hard for me to find stuff that my son likes. Um, and one game that he's been really into is called Dragon City that he plays on his iPad. It's not a game that I prefer, but it's a game that he loves. And he gets to go and breed dragons and things. The dragons look a bit interesting and um it's kind of sort of no longer allowed now that school is starting back up but i thought that it would be a fun idea to go ahead and include it in his little birthday party so i tried to find as much dragon related things as possible after they're blown up they look like that and they're so cute and they're squeaky <laughs> one is gonna go along with this number eight balloon and then i have two more to use around the room so of course I had to get a pack of balloons and this time around I chose an assorted pack of like white and two shades of green to go along with our dragon theme. I picked up these little toy dragons. I love using these types of things. Um, anytime I do any type of celebration where I'm going to purchase things, I try to think of things that I can use again. So most of these things I'm gonna repurpose in our homeschool. You guys already know I like to use these types of things for counting and um, other kind of pretend play in our homeschool. So my mom had gotten, bought a huge batch of Easter eggs that we did not use all of um, last year. So I figured, so they are big enough for me to put the dragons inside, kind of like the dragons are hatching. So they'll kind of be like the dragons are hatching. I went ahead and used a Sharpie to add some scales to some of the eggs and then I'm going to stuff the eggs with some of the dragons. Tell me that's not a super simple cute idea. <laughs> so my sweet dragon here, interesting dragon here, is going to go inside of this egg. How cute! Then I picked up these. These are LED flashing party pack glasses and bracelets a bunch of rings and finger pointers because who doesn't love flashing lights <laughs> like who doesn't love that and then the last thing i picked up was his actual gift so 75 piece solid wood castle blocks i thought they'd have a lot of fun putting together um, configuring different castles and things and I thought it really went along with my theme so this is going to be his gift I went around the rest of my house to find other stuff that I had that could add to our theme and add to the little party so um, I took out our popcorn maker I took out my little clapper my Universal Studios clapper I'm really excited about this because I was thinking that one of the activities we could do would be to make a Dragon City movie my kids are really obsessed with making movies right now, so I thought that I would be their videographer. You guys know I normally have this hanging in our homeschool room, and I love this. I use it for absolutely everything as far as celebrations and things are concerned. So um, wipe it off. You write on there what you want to write on there and keep it moving. So this time around, I'm going to put um, 
I don't know, welcome, Kindles, I don't know, something. Dragon City, something like that. I had this set of tissue paper. I believe that we used this tissue paper in the past to um, add to our Build a Rocket set. So we put this at the bottom of the Build a Rocket set to represent the fire. So I remembered I had some left over, so I went ahead and grabbed that and thought it would be cute to bunch up and put all over along with the balloons to just kind of represent, you know, fire breathing dragons. <laughs> another one of those super cute eggs. I don't think I'm going to Sharpie on this one. I'm just gonna insert a dragon in here, but how cute are they? This I used for a project that if you follow my vlog channel, then you um, would have seen when I did this. I had this leftover paper from when I did a bulletin board for our church, and it's like a wood grain paper that I thought would be really cute for a backdrop on this wall. I'm gonna set everything up here in my dining room space and I thought I could put that wood grain paper just kind of along that wall. This is a set of easels that I have. I have about four or five of them and I use them all the time, mostly for um, parties and when they just want to break them out to paint. So I'm going to break these out. Plus, I always have these lying around. So I'm going to take this and put this on the easel. I'm going to print out some um, dragon coloring pages, use a little bit of washi tape to attach them to the canvas paint a dragon I thought that would be a really cute little activity as well I know you guys have seen this in our little letter factory um, this is why I love this because I can write little messages in my letters um, for him around the rooms and that is pretty much it you guys Yeah, so that was it, you guys. We kept it nice and simple and things that we can use over and over again. So how do you guys do birthdays and celebrations? Do you keep things as simple as possible or do you go all out? I must say that I probably would go all out if it wasn't for this homeschool life of mine. At the end of the day, I'm grateful for it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.